Hi, it's Sharon here from Content Sparks, and in this video I'm going to show you how you can use the free software Audacity to quickly record some audio, whether it's for the background of a video or for a podcast, anywhere you need audio, and then do a few little edits and have it ready to go in a production-ready MP3 format. So here's where you would download the free software. It's called Audacity. You can Google that and it's at sourceforge.net slash project slash audacity. Go ahead and download that and then open up the actual software. And when you open it, you'll see this. It'll pop up with some help so you can get some quick tips or just close that up. And then make sure you have a good microphone plugged in. You can choose it from the drop down. I have a blue snowball, which is pretty good. Other people have other favorites. And then all you'll have to do is hit the record button and start speaking using whatever notes you have or script and also make sure to leave a little bit of a blank space at the beginning so that you'll be able to eliminate background noise I'll show you about that in a second and if you do mess up just pause for a second and then say it again because you can always go back and cut out bits that you don't like and I'll show you that too so let's get started Hi, it's Sharon Sheldon here from Content Sparks, and welcome to our weekly podcast called Content Shortcuts. <clears throat> We're going to be talking today about how to use the free software Audacity to quickly record some audio, do some simple edits, and then have it production ready to go. I'm going to stop that. And now let's go back and edit it. Now, if you noticed, I had to clear my throat at one point, which obviously happens to us all. So I'm going to go find that bit in here. I'm going to scroll through. There's a little bar at the bottom. And I think it was here because I left a pause. So I'll take my mouse and I'll just drag over that. And then you can hit play to see if that's the right bit to delete. <coughs> sure enough, it is. So then I just click on cut and now I'm going to put my my little hand here back just before it so I can check and make sure it still sounds good. Ten shortcuts. We're going to be talking today about pretty good. The only thing I don't like is I take a, a breath there which I don't like the sound of and if you want to pick something a small little bit one thing you can do up at the top right here is zoom in to make sure you're getting just the right bit. I'm going to play that See, I don't like the sound of that big, <gasps> so I'm going to cut that out as well. I'm going to zoom back out again, and now I want to get rid of any background noise. So remember, I left a pause at the beginning so that it could record any background noise, and what you do is you highlight that as well, just a couple seconds, and then you can go into Effect and into Noise Removal, and you want to get the noise profile, so that's going to take kind of a recording of the background noise that you want to eliminate. So I'm going to click Get Noise Profile. So it did that. And now I'm going to go through and highlight the whole track where I need to remove the noise up to the end. Go back to Effect again. Click on Noise Removal. I'll leave the default settings and click OK. And now I can go back to the beginning, maybe get rid of some of that blank bit. Hi, it's Sharon Sheldon here from in fact, again, I don't like the little dip breath I take, so I'm going to play that, and I'm going to cut that, maybe cut a little bit of that extra, um, you know, dead space at the beginning as well. And now it should be ready to, ready to go. We'll just play it quickly and make sure. Hi, it's Sharon Sheldon here from Content Sparks, and welcome to our weekly podcast called Content so you would listen through to the whole thing, make sure everything's good, and then export it so that it's ready, it's production ready. So I click on File, Export. I'm going to save that as a demo file. Let's just, I'll use the, overwrite the one from before. Click, you can see it's an MP3. I click Save. I'm going to overwrite the one from before. You can put in some information like artist name and titles and put in your date, things like that, because you'll need that uploading it if you're doing it as a podcast to upload it. Click OK. And now it's all saved. And you might want to save this project as well. It's a separate type of file. 
so that you have it for the future. So I'm going to save project, click OK, and save it, and we're done. And now you have a recording all set. I'll open up that folder so you can see. And there it is. So we have the MP3. And in another blog post, I show you how to take a recording like this and upload it, insert it into a PowerPoint presentation to use it in a, to create a video as well. I'll put a link to that in this blog in the blog post or under this video as well. That's all for now.